Hey, what's up? This is Kevin. Hey, I'm Marcus. We're with New Release Tuesday.com here at beautiful Grand Canyon University campus in Phoenix, Arizona. It's quite nice outside, Marcus. Yes, we are really glad to be here. We are here for the Canyon Music Festival at the beginning of the We Love Christian Music Awards. Today? Today. Today. We're going to take a tour around campus to show you guys what's here at Grand Canyon. Hopefully, we'll run into a couple artists and uh, see what we run into. We'll see what's happening. Let's go. Let's go. Phoenix, Arizona, Grand Canyon University campus, one of their two pools that they have here. In fact, can you imagine this pool right here, packed full with Christian music fans? Sean McDonald played a concert here. In fact, Third Day has come here, Lecrae has come here, Chris Tomlin has come here. Grand Canyon University is just a huge supporter of Christian music and of the We Love Awards, and uh, we're excited to be here. You know, not only are a lot of Christian artists performing here at Grand Canyon, but a lot of Christian artists attend here as well. Artists like uh, Third Day, Sixteen Cities, and Mariah Peters, who, by the way, is one of our nominees for Best New Artist at the We Love Christian Music Awards. Hey, let's take a moment while I'm swimming, doing some laps here in the hot tub, to take a look at all the nominees for Best New Artist. And the nominees for New Artist of the Year are Adam Campa. Adam Campa. King and Country. For King and Country. When it's all said and done. When we sing our final song. Lindsay McCall. Lindsay McCall. Did it shoot? Walker Band. The Red Walker Band. Outside the Antelope Gymnasium here at GCU, we're gonna ask some people about Album of the Year. What are their picks for Album of the Year for the We Love Awards? We're gonna get people standing in line and standing in the gym. And the nominees for Album of the Year are Fred Nicole. Fred Nicole. David Crowder Van. Give us rest. Uh, I choose the David Crowder Van just because they're the best. They love Jesus. David Crowder Van. Oh, David Crowder Van. Matthew West. Into the light. Tenth Avenue North. The struggle. We got a choice to make. 10th Avenue North is struggling. 10th Avenue North, absolutely. 10th uh, Avenue North. 10th Avenue North. Toby Mac. I on it. Toby Mac. Toby Mac. I on it. Awesome. Toby Mac. Toby Mac. I on it. Toby Mac. One of the things we asked everyone who voted for the We Love Christian Music Awards is what artists impacted them the most in 2012. Let's go around and see if we can get a couple answers and see which artists are really making an impact on the lives of Christian music fans right here on campus. Go with them and tell song. Just because their music is really like uplifting and it's nice sometimes to just listen to like before you go to bed. Probably a group that impacted me in 2012 was Jesus Cultures because their music is um, really um, relatable. It just goes deep with, you know, God, their, their lyrics are good. My one uh, artist that impacted me in 2012 is Andy Mino. Uh, he's been a great inspiration to me. Uh, I love his music and um, I'm a dancer, so I love dancing. So, you know, I have some dances to his songs. They're very positive, very uplifting. I'm just glad that today I get to finally meet him and see him 
for the concert, so I'm really excited. So Andy Munio, man, shout out to you. Blessings, brother. The City Harmonic, um, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Uh, your music changed me a lot. It inspired me, and and I hope you guys um, keep on doing, doing what you do. Uh, I have to say for 2012, um, a band that really affected my life would be uh, Planet Shakers. Um, we had the opportunity to go to concert this year, and just to see their music and how it impacts my life and, and our youth group, it's just been a blessing. I, I hope they continue to, to do what they're doing. So. I'd have to say that every Christian artist has probably impacted my life. Um, I went through a lot of hard times and stuff, so you know, just changing my music choice and my music opinions have altered my ego and changed my heart and made me think about things more in a more self-respective way and have led me to Jesus and led me to treat other people the way I want to be treated. Hey, what's going on? It's Schroeder from GCU. And man, that was a great answer as to why we love Christian music. It is truly transformative to hear how artists are impacting lives all over campus. Well, we've enjoyed hosting the NRT and the We Love Awards crew on campus here this weekend. We'll actually be hitting the road with them in February and March on the Rock and Worship Roadshow. So make sure you go to the We Love Awards to see which awards we'll be announcing live on tour every night. Now also you can log on every Tuesday night. We'll be doing a live wrap-up session with different artists to kind of celebrate why we love Christian music. So from everyone here at GCU and all of our staff, we thank you for joining in. And who knows, maybe we'll see you here in sunny Phoenix someday. Peace out.